So does composition matter while building in Roblox Studio? And well, the short answer is yes, but as to why I'm gonna tell you in this video. But as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, and let's get to it. So let's start off by asking the question of what is the composition? And it's basically the way that something is arranged in, for example, an arrangement of scene elements, different assets, their texture, materials, and so on. And this can range from like the environment composition to the building composition, color composition, and many more. And I'm just going to show a few examples with a few different things, and one of which are going to be materials, where we basically have this brick PBR, as well as this wood right here, and someone could say that these two don't really fit together. And that's actually because of few reasons, where one of them is going to be the shape, since this is on a display, and not on a proper building. And another thing could be the color, where again right off the bat this is not going to compose well with each other, but again this is going to be because of the form that these materials are in right now. So I'm just going to show an example on these two materials being properly used. And well here they are. There is also few different ones like this grunge on the wall, on both the top and the bottom of this asset, as well as these roof shingles. So overall you can see that these two aren't that bad, and they kind of go well with each other. And that also might be because these two assets are from the same asset pack that was made by Roblox. And it's I believe from this landscaping pack right here. I've also made a video on this, and you can go check it out, the link is going to be in the description. But this example that I just talked about is basically just the material composition that goes between this wall and this building right here. And for this point, like I mentioned, the assets also have these different materials, and that's for example if I just add the surface appearance to both of these elements, then just change the color, you can see that it's kind of not going as well as it was going with the previous material. I mean the top part right here looks alright, but the parts on this pillar and this bottom part don't really go too well. So something like this would be a much better composition for this asset right here. And the same goes basically with this building, where if I remove the shingles on top, and just place the wood there, you can see that it has a way worse effect that it previously had with these shingles. But in this case it doesn't look too bad. And what I'm exactly trying to get in this point is that whenever you are making an environment, for example, you should experiment and mix and match different materials to see which ones are going to work the best. And now let's talk about the environment composition a bit more, where I'm just going to grab few more assets. Well, so I grabbed all of these, and now we can work out on how to make an environment with these. And two things to always remember about the composition of the environment, you always need the avatar reference, just to not make your builds have an incorrect size. And another thing with assets like this, is going to be the architecture. Basically wondering how this would fit into an environment. Right off the bat I can see that this could be like a more of an urban area. So let's just try to compose something for example. And I'm going to start off with these stairs because this is going to be awkward to put it anywhere else later. And the first idea that comes to my mind is basically going to be having like a place and a set of stairs leading somewhere to like an elevated level. So I'm just going to grab this wall and just start placing these around. And I would probably also need a part that's going to be positioned right here. And I'm also going to change its material to maybe something like pavement. Or maybe actually something like cobblestone. Now this is where you could for example again experiment with this. And don't be afraid to change it to something even like the roof shingles for example. Where this is actually going to fit. So in this case you can basically see that composition is basically just placing a lot of assets that are going to go well with each other. And like, all of this area looks kind of empty right now, so what I can do is add a little bit of foliage, where this asset right here would be alright. And I can either place it right here, or maybe move it somewhere to the sides. But I feel like this should be good around the center. And then I'm just going to place these trees. Also make sure to add a little bit of variance, by for example rotating these assets. Then I also have these leaves right here, that I can just place right on the wall. And then let me see what I can do with this bush. I don't really think that placing it right here would be good for this composition, so I don't think I'm actually going to use it anywhere yet. And this thing is also really weird, but since like I said this is going to be like a empty place, I can basically just put it in the center. Since now it can start resembling maybe a city square. And let me see what I can do with the gate, because I could for example just position it here, which would be good or maybe even on top right here, but I can see that this area isn't really finished and doesn't fit, so I'm going to leave it in the first position. 
And I also just noticed that this grid is a little bit rotated. So I'm just going to correct it like this. And this also would let me, for example, just add these fences right here, which could allow me now to add these bushes. So you basically just saw my little thought process and you saw how I was designing and composing this area, this environment, where I didn't have an idea myself on what to do, but I actually made, well, something. And if I spend a little bit more time, I could probably make a good environment with this. And maybe I should not forget to anchor these parts again. But yeah, size-wise you can probably see that this would fit into a Roblox environment. And these were like game-ready assets, but like I said, you always should build with a reference. If these were my assets that I would make myself, I would probably just resize them with the dummy reference. And me placing these assets and showing this process was basically my practice, but there is a little bit more theory that goes into this. Where I actually made this by mistake, and I wanted to talk about this in a different example, but well, anyways. So I'm just going to do another playtest. And something I did right here is exactly called a visual feedback. Where I'm basically telling the player that, hey, you can go there. If this was, for example, an RPG and this would look like a progress area. And the second thing is a highlight of an object, which is going to be this thing in the center. Since you can see that this is the main thing that's in the center of this place, and this kind of just works like a landmark. It's basically the thing that if you walk in this area and then proceed, you're going to remember this thing being in the center. And this happens because not only it's so specific, but also of its position. It doesn't really have anything around, and is the first thing you see after going through this gate. So again, if you are building your scenes, this would be a highlight of a very specific object that you would basically just want the player to see. And overall, there is many different aspects in building composition. I already talked about the color, the proportions, architecture, materials, textures, shapes, even the foliage. And it kind of all depends on what kind of a game you are making. Also to stuff like if you want the build to be more practical, or just look good, there is also many different details, and that applies to even stuff like lightning. Where I would change this to the future, and just change the time of the day a bit, this environment would look completely different at night. And I could for example just grab a light from a different asset pack, and just place it in a scene, and just scatter them around like so. This would already add more ambience and detail into the scene. I could also just place them in front of this gate, to indicate a bit more that the player can go through it. And if I wanted to add even more highlight to this object, I could just for example make a part, then just position it somewhere in the center, and then just add a point light. And something like this would already highlight the inside of this object, but I could also make it match these lights inside of these lamps right here. Where I'm just going to grab the color, change the brightness, enable shadows and then change the range. Maybe 30 would be a little bit too much, so leaving it at 15 would be alright. And now this is going to add a little bit more, to the overall composition of this build. And also if I wanted to take this a step further, you can see how I position the sun to only not shine through this gate, but also to highlight the center object more, and also display like this whenever you go up the stairs. So basically, like I said at the beginning, the composition is the way that something is arranged in. And hopefully with this knowledge you get on how to become a better builder on Roblox. But that is basically going to be everything for today. So again, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Also check out my UGC items. And thank you guys for watching, hope everyone had a nice day and see ya.